Now in the following video, I'm going to take you through the logic process for diagnosing if you think there's a fault in the battery. Now it's done in a kind of reverse process and we start at the terminals here and work our way back. And this is a good way to find if and where a fault occurs. Now this is information that we need to be able to process any warranty claims. So if you are going to be doing a warranty claim, we will need this information. Ideally, you should take some photos of your measurements. So let's get started and we'll go from the top and work our way right down to module level. Okay, now when you want to test uh, the SunGrow batteries, the first thing we're gonna have to check is if the battery is actually switching on or not. So we actuate the circuit breaker and what you will see here is the charge light going up and the on off button will be flashing. Now this is a self check. Uh, you won't get any output out the battery until that goes on steady. If it goes on steady red, there's an internal fault. But once it goes on steady blue, we can check the output of the battery. Okay, so now that the blue light is on steady and it's stopped flashing, there should be voltage to the battery terminals here. Now we're going to check both the polarity and obviously the voltage level. This being positive and this being negative. So I'm going to put my little multimeter in here. Positive, this is the positive one. And it's negative and you can see I have 96, 196 volts. This is the correct polarity and I know I have voltage. If the polarity was wrong, I'll have to remake the ends. If there's not enough voltage or no voltage, then I'm going to have to check back through the battery to see where the problem is. Now I've removed the CMU, which is the circuit breaker box, and I've replaced the lid back on. And we now need to check down at this bottom terminal. Now, because there's a camera pointing at it, I've had to do this in advance. So you see the back right hand terminal here this is the positive terminal and the back left hand one is the negative terminal and as you can see here I have 195 volts DC correct polarity so we're good so far so I just need to continue working backward now I'm going to read the module uh, battery level the, the voltage level and for that, I have a module here taken off, but I'm going to show you the positive terminal is this one here. It is the rear left-hand side terminal. Now I'm going to do move over to this module here, which has been taken off. I'm going to go into that rear left-hand side and directly below it, that's the negative terminal. Now I'm measuring 65.6 volts which is okay. However, obviously if the voltage was too low or not there at all, we know the module is faulty. Now, one final check. Uh, we want to check that the communication cable is plugged in properly at the battery end. If you disconnect the CAN high-low connectors there, if it's not plugged in, you'll get zero across these terminals here. But in this case, it is plugged in. I have 1.6 volts. So if you've got zero volts there, you know you haven't plugged the communication cable in properly. 